Hey, howdy. Today's the patch day. Yet another one. So today is version what? 0.120F patch number four. So they added a bunch of new tracks to the sound room, and more importantly, they added some new areas. Bleeding Mushroom Garden, Primary Estate, Canvas, Pincushion Vineyard, Sandstone Brick Maze, and a new area accessible from Frozen Glade, which I believe just hasn't been... hasn't been put on the wiki yet. Oh, right, there's a tour going on. I wasn't able to... I wasn't able to join in this time, but it, um, Jirachi is hosting another Argentina tour. But the the dailies the, the dailies today are hilarious. I gotta say, the dailies are to Masks Shop and Omaris Labyrinth, and the vending machine finder is that. I'm imagining <laughs> like, tabbing over and just like a SpongeBob. <laughs> They're just it. Th there is no vending machine here. It does not reel. I think that's in Vermin Promenade, but I don't know for sure. Mask shop, my beloved. And I mean, while I'm here... So, part of me wants to explore the new content. I have kind of a different idea. Because, as I said before, one of the paths is to Omari's Labyrinth. And today I want to unlock a certain connection. Let me go over to the page for um, Omari's Labyrinth. It's over here. There's actually a connection to Omri's Labyrinth that was added relatively recently. From Thrift Shop. This should be my target. Okay. It's a bit of a bit of a different route than what we're used to. Cause I mean how often do we how often do I go through Pudding World? But by the end of it, I should have a very useful, I should have a very, very useful connection. Ooh. Oh shit. <laughs> 444, 444 hearts. Uh, there you are. Various chessboard, and then from here. Oh, I like the design of this. Checker Towers Top Down Dungeon Apple Prison. Huh.
What the hell? <laughs> Weird. I like the look of this area. Very pretty. Uh... Okay. So if I go back west... Hello. Weird looking vending, vending machine. With a clam inside? this TV land? Uh, no. Uh, there you are. Check our towers. Okay, wait. <laughs> I gotta do, like, some mental gymnastics here. Uh... Rightmost tower, upwards from this tower. So this is the third of those towers. Let me head, if I we head west from here, I think I'll re-find the nefarious chessboard. There you are. And then southeast from that entrance. I think it's this one? It is, nice. And this area is so cute. We. Uh, okay. There should be a connection. There should be a connection here that just leads straight to thrift shop. I don't remember where it is, but there should be one here. Ah, I see. They're going to Lovesick Gar. They're they're going to um Lovesick World. It's a cool looking area. I always dig these sorts of areas that have weird aesthetics. If I remember correctly, Thrift Shop is up this way? Maybe? Yeah, there we are. Okay. So, from here, let me read the instructions. But 
Okay, so I head down and I end up in the area full of faceless, faceless people. Weird place this is. Uh. <laughs> That's menacing. Ah, I see. It's up here that leads to the area full of cans. And I think I need to kick over this? Ah, there we go. And... Bada bing, bada boom. We are now in Omaris Labyrinth. And this... This is now permanently unlocked. And to give you an idea of how close this is, here's Thrift Shop, here's Rotten Fish Lake. So that cuts out a good amount of a good amount of travel. Now it's probably still it, if I wanted to go to Tomato World, it's probably still better to go through Totem Hotel. But if I can get this route down quickly. This is a very good way to access to do the do something like Voxel Island or uh, Libra Palace or one of those. Oh God, right? They're starting to they're they're going on the, on a trip to those new areas. You know what? Part of me wants to go to Vermint Promenade or wherever and get the vending machine. The other part of me really wants to try and get to those new areas. Because, uh, I may have spoiled myself a little bit. And attempted to go to those areas myself. But I failed. I do love it. That is a funny bit. Yumatuki Gold. Uh, where are you? There it is. It's this building right here. Leads here, right. Okay. Give me just a moment. I'm gonna pull something up from the Discord. Alright, there we go. Uh, as it happens, I want to actually be able to experience these new areas in a decent amount of time. And this new area, which I don't actually remember the name of it. The map looks like this. The map is ludicrously large. Virgin, virgin history jump scare. Hang on, let me close that tab. Okay, so the first question is where the hell am I to begin with? There's that big mushroom... And then one, two, three. Um, let's see if I can find it. If nothing else, all the mu the designs of the mushrooms are fairly unique. If I, I think these are mushrooms anyway. I think I found our guy. No. so many options to pick from. And there's also no markers on this map. Jizo, Jizo, man. Okay, let me try a different strategy. I need to look for, like, a... a 
a scoop. Somewhere in here, there is a scoop. I think that's me right there. Yes, that matches. Okay. So I found where I found my match. I need to get all the way to that center area. Hmm. God, this is going to be this is going to be insane to navigate. I think I see a route. Possibly, is there a way that I can? I don't think I can breach that wall. I can. Okay. So I need to like map this out in my mind. Go this way and then down. I like how the the little guys they aren't hostile to my knowledge. They kinda just decide that sometimes they want to run towards you and they do nothing else. They're kinda just silly. Okay. Keep going until I find this set of gumdrops over here. Okay, so right now I'm right here. I should be able to head down and to the right. This area is kind of nightmarish, and I I appreciate areas that just are unabashedly difficult to navigate like this. As annoying as Omaris is, and as much as I like to make jokes about it, I do appreciate it for having the balls to just be a really hard area to navigate. The, the game would be a lot worse if there were too, too many of those, but, like, there's there's just enough that it's, that I feel like it works very well. Okay. So I should be able to go up and dodge this line right here. And then I'm now along the opposite line. And then I ride this line down until it disappears. All right. And then I head straight. <laughs> if you thought that the fun was over, you're very wrong. Because after this, hang on. I'm approaching it right now, is one of these! Yay! <laughs> it's a wilderness movement puzzle. There we go. Now from here, I should just be able to go up and around. To the second part. What if I told you this maze has another maze? Let me put on Railroad Crossing for a moment. Because there are chasers in here. Okay, so my starting point is up in the top right, where that line starts. I need to make it to the center of the maze where that computer is. Okay. Another time I would be happy to 
try and like noodle this out and not stick to the map like glue, but this is my first time. This is my first time actually experiencing this map, so, uh. Ooh, hello. Thank you. Oh! Okay, well, I can't dally. Or dilly. Hey, dilly, dilly. Ah! Okay, now I should be in the clear. And now, for every man a maze. What if I told you that, this, that there is another maze that I have to get through first, before I get to the really cool part? Oh, right. I forgot I already, have, I already had a bat point set here. I'll just set a new one. So, somewhere around here is a giant desktop. I'm gonna try and head this way, because... Like, this map is huge. Going any any of the diagonals is not going to get me to my destination easily. And I try, I've already tried going in the cardinals. To no avail. Okay. <laughs> There's so many just different, slightly different TVs. The one I'm looking for is a lot larger than that. And if I can manage to find it, it has a mechanism that I'm rather interested in. But it's difficult to locate. There it is! <gasps> Blue! That's the one that I want. Okay. Now, the last thing that I need to do to make this work is I need to find a house with a paint bucket, or one of the computers will now have a paint bucket icon. And I think the best way to do this, I'll search around until I find exactly one computer. And then from that point, I will just use the bat, because I know for a fact Ah. I know that if I travel back to the starting point and then go straight up and then I'll, and then if I go straight left and right both ways I will find I'll be able to find a TV whether it's the TV that I'm looking for I'm not exactly sure but it's definitely worth a shot. Let me let me just see if I can find one more TV and then I'll then I'll do it. Man, I'm unlucky. There's got to be a TV around here somewhere, right? Grr. Oh shit, <laughs> I finally found someone. Where are all of the computers? I know they're around here somewhere. Okay, let's try that. Because like I said, I know for a fact that there are two computers within walking distance of just going straight in a direction.
at least in the monochrome version of this map. I don't know if that's different. <gasps> yes! Yes! I made it! So, wouldn't you know it, Say hello to the silliest thing that this game that they have ever added in this game. And I don't take that lightly. I don't take that lightly. Tukey paint. This is so unbelievable. This is so cute. Let me see. Let me get some white. Yeah, okay, so if I do this. It should show up if I do a screenshot. Oh, this is scuffed. <laughs> and that works. <laughs> it is literally MS Paint. I love this. MS Paint World. For how annoying this place was get was to get to, this was a hundred percent worth it. I'm debating making just like making a really cool and massive illustration and posting it to, as a community post. I think I'm gonna stop here and then probably I think I'll do exactly that Thanks so much for watching